Romans 12, 3. For I say, through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, think, Sathalakia, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but uh. to think soberly according as power had dealt to every man the measure of faith. Hmm. Scripture tell us to be humble, be and Yahweh Bashemi, I wish I will exalt us in due time. A lot of you, a lot of you boasted in, in, in the fact that, hey, you could recall precepts. You understand <laughs> yeah, certain breakdowns. Yeah, boy. Yeah, and you yeah, don't yeah, have yeah, a humble that. spirit. Yeah, you see that. You see that. You Everything. don't have a humble spirit. <laughs> but... It don't matter how much precepts you know. It don't matter how much breakdowns you know. It don't matter how much time you go on the highways and byways. If pride, a proud spirit resides in your heart, the Heavenly Father is going to abase you. Exactly. He's going to cut you down. The humble man will be exalted. The proud will be abased. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to grab and because he has the cross 23. Yeah. That way going for. Ecclesiasticus 23. Grab it, grab it. All right, let me get I'll get the 23 and verses 4. It says, O Lord Father and God of my life, give me not a proud look, but turn away thy servants always a haughty mind. Thou ought to be a prayer, Father. Keep me humble. Never allow me to exalt myself. When you look at Paul, the Heavenly Father put a thorn in Paul's flesh. Why? People started to worship Paul like he was a god. Started calling Paul Jupiter and, and these other <laughs> heathen gods. God. But the power to heal, the power to raise the dead was given to Paul through, from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. <laughs> People worshiping these men as God. Paul never desired to be worshipped. Paul never encouraged anybody to worship him. As a matter of fact, Paul always discouraged that. We are just men, just like you. Give mm. worship, give honor, give glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Go ahead, Ark, if you want to get yeah. the next precept. The scripture says, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in yeah. the ways of sinners. Right? Yeah. So there's, there's no reason... At I mean, I, I know you all here in this, for those who are new, don't waste your time mingling in these off doctrines you know, because you'll end up with them. You know, right? This is only for the ones who are now come in and who are new to the truth at the point in time because they are bugged out. Many of them are bugged out and they're constantly changing, teaching bugged out doctrines and have many of our people in the mix with them. Of course, if Yahweh give um anybody over to them then you know what you know the time it is some of us may come out but if it's not if it's not your lot to, to receive this truth there's nothing you can do somebody said something there so. when up well, i'm gonna grab um the hebrews before i cut me grab the hebrews one time which oh, is i have to this and that's why it says for we know him that had said vengeance be long suffered unto me i will recompense say it yahweh and i again and again yahweh shall judge his people it is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power God. So if, go ahead no go ahead Ak. you yeah, know you so, go ahead so if it is, all you want to constantly to mix in this nonsense and not receive the truth, the wise counsel to dwell in that house of learning and, 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 and develop our mind the way a Hawa, Bahasham, Yahusha would want it to be done, there's nothing we can do for you. I mean, not true. at the end of the day, Ak, we have no power to convince anybody. Exactly. It's the spirit of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahusha who does that. Put that we spirit. simply fulfill the mandate by, by, by yielding ourselves <laughs> as vessels fit for the master's use. Yeah. That's all we do. Exactly. You know? So we ain't coming here to try and convince nobody. The yeah. fact that you can't get it, you can't see you it, can't is not due to any lack or fault of our own 
or her inability to prove anything to you. It's simply the father don't want you to get it. Because <laughs> let us be real. How much precept do you actually need to be convinced that the topic under discussion and the precepts brought out is actually saying what it's saying? How much precepts you, you, you need? Because if I give you seven precepts to answer a question and that is not enough, you think a hundred go answer it? Hmm. Let me be real. Yeah. Yeah. And, we, and we have people who always... I don't get it here. You ain't prove it enough. You, br you bring out 10, 15 precepts. They ignore the precepts and they want to stick with one. And the one precept they bring, they believe it, it overturns every other precept brought out pertaining to the topic. <laughs> and then when you confound them with the scriptures, you know what they just do? They just resort to name calling. They, re they, they resort to bearing false witness. You remember when we was talking, at, and I was sharing this with my rib earlier. Right? right? Let, let, let me ask you a question. When, I put, right. when, I, when, I, when a righteous man dies, where does his spirit go? When Not a there. wicked man dies, where does his spirit go? To the um, Akiam on the comment board. When a righteous man dies and a wicked man dies, where does his spirit go? They both go to the heavenly father. Done. Now, answer me this. Then the scripture says sin cannot dwell in the presence of the heavenly father. Scripture said that. Yeah. Sin cannot dwell in the presence of the heavenly father. Yeah, so how could a wicked man's soul or his spirit be with the heavenly father? It's very simple. It's because in the spirit, in the spirit, you remember he is fulfilling the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh He was supposed to be wicked. He was created to be wicked. He functioned in his lot. To function in your lot that you were created for is righteous. Now that may go over some people's head, but let me try and expound on it further. <laughs> when the wicked man and the righteous man go to the spiritual realm, they are both at rest. Yeah. They're both at rest. Right? And the reason why the, the, the wicked man's soul could be with the heavenly father, because in that state, he is not in sin. He is not in transgression. Yeah. And remember, he was created to fulfill a role. All of his creatures were created perfectly to function in the, work, in the, in the role he created them for. So the wicked was created to be wicked. It was created to go off and, and keep going off until I wish I come. Then that is what going to happen. Exactly. Now, sin... When you look at sin, where does a person commit sin? Or what is used, what medium is used to carry out sin? I think that's the, best, the better question. Yeah, yeah. What medium is used to carry out sin? Remember, in the spirit, can a spirit sin? Very good, sister. Very good, Aqua. The flesh. Because in the spirit form, you cannot sin. Damn. In the spirit form, you cannot sin. So you carry out sin in the flesh. Hence the reason when the scripture tells us that the place of that judgment is on the earth, you're in the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you are judged, and you come to live out the judgment on the earth. Because you carry out sin through your members, through the flesh. Yeah. That is why flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom. That is why when you die, it's not your, 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 your flesh that does go up to the heavenly father. It's your spirit. Your spirit. So a lot of people 
never understand it from that point how both the righteous man and the wicked man's spirit goes back to, to the heavenly father. That is why they create that hell doctrine, that hell nonsense. So the righteous man will go to, um, um, I think let's call it purgatory. I can't remember. <laughs> it's a place to call. And the wicked um, go into yeah, hell. Yeah, I mean, yeah, come yeah. on, the scripture never say that. The heavenly father is known as the Lord of spirits. He, so when a person dies, where do you think they're going? It's back to the maker. Back to be to absent from the body. Could you get that precept? Okay. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. <laughs> to be absent from the body. Second Corinthians. Five. Okay. And I believe it's eight. Right. right, it says, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord Jehovah Hashem, Yahweh And can, and what all the people need to understand, the <clears throat> spirit don't die. <clears throat> Only exactly. the heavenly father can kill that spirit. Only he could do so. So when you die, you're, 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 you're cast off this mortal coil. Hmm. And you go to the spiritual realm. Do you think it has, you, 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 you have no thoughts? Do you think you are dead in the spiritual realm? No, you are not. Yeah. Your spirit is alive. Your spirit is conscious. Hmm. Your spirit knows what is going on. This is why a lot of people who live a real wicked life when they die and they go to the spiritual realm they just remember the 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 the, the, the knowledge of what they committed is <laughs> brought back to them not a face they, and they just realize hey i really live a, a sinful That's life boy gone. you know hmm. so yeah. understanding these most basic truths you go understand hell can exist Wisdom of Solomon twelve sixteen. Oh, the wisdom of Solomon. If I could get her. Yeah, I'll get that. Wait, wait, which one it was? Which one it is? It's one. I will get it twelve still. It says, uh, first, yeah. yeah. For thy power is the beginning of righteousness, and because thou art Yahweh of all, or the Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. I feel let me grab the. I think he says the next one. Yeah. It was them of Solomon 1. 1 and 12, 12 to, 16. 16. to 16. To 16. Right. He said, Seek not death in the error of your life, and pull not upon yourself destruction with the works of your hands. For the Most High made not death, neither had he pleasure in destruction of the living. For he created all things. And um, they that they might have be have their being, and their, the generations of the worlds were he, were healthful, and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. And then we go to fifteen. It says, "For righteousness is immortal." God, sixteen, <clears throat> but ungodly men with their works and words called it to them for when they thought it have their ch it it so like it, when they thought it have it to, so like it, to have it their friend they consumed to not to not and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part with it I feel I'll read that again because I make plenty of mistakes. Let me be honest with you. Let me read that one again. But ungodly men with their works and words called it to them. For when they thought to have it, their friend, they consumed to not and made a covenant with it because they are worthy to take part with it.
I'm going to grab, that was it, the, um, the Matthews. You have the, you have the Matthews? I'm going to grab it then. Matthews 10, chapter and verses 28. It says, and, the, and fear not them which kill the body. Can, can. Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Can. And that yeah. hell is not talking about that imaginary made up place. Exactly. It's not talking about that. No special realm where the wicked go to be tormented for all eternity. It's not speaking about that. That hell would be Babylon exactly when those missiles drop. So, you think a person who live an, a, an adulterous life, you think when he die and his spirit go to the Mosai, he committing in adultery in heaven? No, he's not. Nope. nope. He cannot. You think when a person who, 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 was, who was in that alphabet lifestyle, when they die, <laughs> you think they go to heaven to practice that? No. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, it's so simple. There's a reason why, why judgment takes place on the earth and not no imaginary place called hell. Done. Because you carry yes. out sin in the body. You don't carry out sin in the spirit. Hmm. That, that hmm. It's pretty simple. Hmm. If Father put the spirit in this vessel, if he determined that this spirit is supposed to go off, to do wickedness, then dies the lot you was chosen for. Was chosen. Can. If you were chosen to be a scoffer and a mocker and to, to go against the and to go against the children of Israel at speaking the truth, to receive a destruction after via the ICBM or, or probably the chariots, then dies your means. You can't get it from dies your lot. Yeah. And let me tell only something. These spirits in that realm. They doesn't want to leave it eh? exactly because they're at peace they're at rest they doesn't want to leave hmm. so understanding this this truth could give you comfort to be able to face what is coming upon us in jacob's trouble where some of us will actually have to become martyrs to lay down our life for this truth because to die in the body that is your spirit and die. It's just it's just a state of being moving from yeah. one to the next. That's all it is. And you know, we, we, we have been taught to fear it. You know? But this is why we had to build on we faith through prayer and fast. We had to build yeah. we faith up. We had to become comfortable to be able to love not your life for the sake of the truth. You had to what watch me. You have to be building up your spiritual bank account. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there, and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. You have both wicked and righteous on the earth. Yep. And, and, and the judgment they have to face, they have to live it out on the earth. Done. How you think you're going to pay for it? The spirit not going to pay for anything. You have to come back and, 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 and get your body. Yep. And face it with the Live body. Without your judgment. Yeah. Grab the... Some of us will not taste death, but for the story's sake, some of us will be martyred. Can, can. 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 Now we're going to have some of us who are going to bear witness to Yahushai burst in the clouds and I... Some of us could be a witness to that. <laughs> I know you say you told me today or you, you desire when we was having the discussion, you know, we desired to witness that because I want yeah. to see all of them naysayers. I want to, to see the look in the face yeah. when you have a shy burst their clouds hmm. and they see him. You understand? <laughs> Some of us had to be martyred. Go ahead. <laughs> now I said, imagine that feeling. 
right? When he burst through the clouds and all them chariots come present, you know, so I mean, imagine that feeling. <laughs> <Wait. laughs> Knowing that a hey, it finally end, Yahweh Shai come to set all things right. He has come to set all things aright. This, you know, this, yeah, this, this, this earth we live on right now, the state that it is in because of the wicked, of course, um, the will of Yahweh is nothing but torture. And I don't know, I don't, I don't, I, I want to, I, I tell you, I mean, I'm ready for this world to just clear off and let, let Yahweh come on. Yahweh I'm really ready for that. Boy, this, this is what the righteous of the Lord will be, will be desiring that this world, this world meet its end, you know, because. What comfort we have here? What rest we have in this system? Hmm. We are at the bottom of all nations. We are hated of all nations. We are taxed to debt. We could barely afford food, barely afford a shelter. In some right. cases, we can't even afford shelter. Why would you want this wicked earth to continue knowing that we are the prince of the power, that <laughs> we are the children of Israel, and we have an inheritance? Why yeah. would we want this uh, to, to continue? To continue, and stay on the bottom of uh, the bottom of the food, the lowest end, where the heathens do whatever they want to we. Are we taking uh, it and, and taking the scrums and happy with it? Boy, huh. that that is a real low mind state. Uh, state of mind, uh. Boy, scripture say it, it, the, the people of the Lord are, are such as children, the stupid, Man. the simple. The simple. And yet, uh, they do love, they, they really love Babylon. <laughs> right. Yeah, we go, as the Acts say, we go into the heathens for want of all things, according to the curses. All ain't fed up. Yeah, all ain't yeah. tired, have to dance like Sambo and entertain these people to get your daily bread. All ain't tired. Hmm. We are the princes of the earth, we are royalty, them yeah. are servants. You think it it, 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 it it is right for royalty to be dancing like, like, like a court jester for a servant? No. How long will all you love simplicity? How long will you people continue to be simple-minded? This truth, is, this truth is not for everybody. It's not for everyone. It's not for everybody. When I'm trying to go in, back and yes. forth debating with certain people, it ain't making no yeah, sense. It's it unprofitable. Not... Exactly. Why that? No. They, 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 they're putting up on wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. If we could get that. Let me grab that. Wisdom. All right. Chapter 5 and verse 1 and 2. Let me grab that. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made and made no account of his labor gone says when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of our of his salvation which is our salvation so so far beyond all that they looked for gone, gone. because when when they realize that a these people who were the lowest on the earth, they are the ones going up in the chariot. They are the, <laughs> the, 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 the sons of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're going to say, aren't these the people we held sometime in derision? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the people we treat poorly, we spit on, we, we, mm -hmm. we, 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 we fabricated lies upon to have mm -hmm. them thrown in jail. <laughs> right now, people, we are in Egypt. Spiritual Egypt. Spiritual and just Egypt. as how in physical Egypt, Pharaoh said he's not letting the children of Israel go. Right? And that is the same mindset being taken place today in spiritual Egypt. Babylon the Great. They have no desire to let the children of Israel go. They have no desire. <laughs> so you people need to wake up all your wake up all your wake up all your asses. So yeah, yeah. Get up up all Wake your asses ass and up. see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Wake <laughs> all your ass up. <laughs> Shit. Man. Too much, too much nonsense being done in this world for we not to at least hey, separate ourselves from it and, and 
continue to diligently seek your Bashim Yahushua. Too much things. I know yes, right, I, I know we're in the flesh. Uh -huh. So I know we would sin. We will we may go off. Right? But at the same time, get up, dust your bottom off, and keep keep pursuing your Bashim Yahushua. Can. Yeah, you, when you fall down, you don't stay down. You're, you're only defeated when you stay down. You know, you're in a boxing match. Where well, he doesn't mm -hmm. notice when a boxer get, get knocked down. He just fight to get up until he, he gets up. fight to get up before that bell. Yeah. Before the counter 10. And hmm. some of them just have serious injuries, bleeding from cuts. Could barely get a footing under them. Some of them knock out. They're half knocked out. And for yes. the body so programmed that yeah. the body trying to get up. That's how we're supposed to be in this truth. Never staying down. Always pressing forward. <laughs> this is a race we're running, you know, people. And this race, it don't require you to come first to win the prize. Everyone gets the prize as long as you cross the finish line. Mm. That's the beautiful thing about this race. Everyone could get a prize. Don't you want to be one of the men of the Lord, according to Ezra, who stood stiffly for the name, being crowned with those golden crowns? I yeah. desire to be among that number. I desire to be among that I number. I pray too. that I am. Don't you think you should be working towards that? Some of you still studying, hey, I want, I want to build my dream house. I want to have my <laughs> dream car. I want to go on my dream vacation. Look at the signs happening around you. You think now is the time to be focusing on those nonsense? This earth don't have so long for you to, to get your dream house and your dream car and your dream vacation with your dream woman or your dream man. I mean, come on. Prophecies and, are fast fulfilling. And, and, and even, well, even, even if you get the dream house and the dream car, you still won't be able to enjoy it because of the destruction coming. That plague exactly. that's coming, you, you, there's no way you could go and hide for that. So <laughs> it, it, may, it doesn't, it's not profiting you to seek all these carnalities in this world. Just seek your Bashem because we know what's coming. They have warned us time and time again, hey, woe tree is coming in effect. Prepare yourself. Everybody um, running for here and there to go and build bunker and, and, and and gather supplies because they see that the government is pushing this it's coming and the the the, the man on top is the one who orchestrated everything so if you not if you don't have the eyes to see or the ears to receive it then I, I, again i can always say then your ass is grass go ahead up can you get Isaiah chapter Isaiah 30? Chapter. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, verse 23. Let me make sure. Isaiah 30, Isaiah 30 23. 23. We talk about our eyes shall behold our teachers. Our eyes shall see our teachers. Uh, it's Isaiah chapter 30. Isaiah 30 verse 20, Salakia. Yeah. Right. Isaiah 30 verse 20. Yes, sir. Right. And though the law and though and though Yahweh gave you bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not yet shall not thy teachers be removed into the corners anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Gone. Now, this proves that the men of the Lord today preaching this 100% truth, starting with our elders, is the fulfillment of that prophecy. No longer will your teachers be removed to the corners. You know, there was a time we didn't know who we are. When you look at slavery, a lot of us didn't know we were Israelites. We didn't know mm -hmm. the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We didn't know what was required. But in fulfillment to scripture, our teachers are before our eyes, which is the fulfillment of prophecy. Read verse 21. 
verse 21 and thine heirs shall hear a word behind thee saying this is the way walk ye in it and when ye turn the, to the right hand and, and when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left and we hear in that voice speaking to us through really? the men of the lord this is the way really? walk ye in it <laughs> come back to the lord's statutes and commandments the Holy Spirit, uh, as well as speaking to the hearts and minds. Scripture say he pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Um. You know? And this is why you have, you have men, women, and children prophesying. They're having dreams. Um. Being told, hey, this is what's coming on the earth. Yeah. Showing them, hey, this is the way. This is where you had to do walk in it. <laughs> but again, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will reject thee. Gone. The truth is right here. The teachers are right here. Scripture say, but you so, so love so like it. Go ahead, huh? right. No, go ahead, huh? The scripture say, draw near unto me and dwell in the house of ye unlearn and dwell in the house of learning. But it can. We have people out here who just they hear it. And they just reject it because again it's not given to them to receive it but go ahead can verse 22 ye shall defile also the covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornaments of thy molten That's images right. of gold thou shall cast them away as the menstruous cloth thou shall say unto it get the hands that is where you're supposed to do with your sins yeah. just like our woman will cast away a menstruous cloth you ever see anybody any anybody saving the menstruation blood on a cloth and framing it? No, you cast it away. Hey, hey, that yeah, boy. That that is calling me so much. Hey. Your idols, your wicked <laughs> ways, cast it away from you. Damn. Put away the evil of your doings from before his eyes. Hmm. Did you get the Proverbs 1, 20 to 26? Right. Proverbs 1, right, 20 to 26. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place um, of, of concourse. In the openings of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long? Ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my roof, at my reproof, Salakia. Like, yeah? Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, ye refused. I have stretched out my hands. And no man regard it. But ye have set at naught, or not, which is nothing, all my counsels and word, so like here, and would none of my reproof. It says, I also will laugh at your calamities. I will mock when you fear, when your fear cometh. So like here. So you see where the scripture is telling you, the men of the Lord, through the, through the wisdom and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, teaching you this truth, and all you turn in a deaf ear and a blind eye. Mm -hmm. All you don't want to hear it. <laughs> right now, if it was up for all you, a lot of you consent to the death of the prophets all over again. Yep. A lot of you were the ones crying, crucify him, crucify him, you know. A lot <laughs> of you desire a murderer to be granted unto you and only kill and, and, and only kill the prince of peace that's how wicked all the is yep you shed the blood of the holy one of israel or you shed the blood of his prophets and anybody pertaining to the lifestyle that 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 you live this wicked lifestyle mm -hmm. you people hate them the truth has become the new hate speech. Look at everything around you. They're passing laws 
to make the truth a punishable offense. Don't speak the truth. Look, we have Canada passing that law where you cannot read the Bible in public. You can't yeah. use quotes from the scripture. Hmm. And somebody can report you and, and, and they deem as a hate crime. That is the famine of the world, people. It, it has begun. It has begun. And it's going to turn up in an, it's going to be turned up in intensity. Look, look at how people putting up idiotic predictions about the three days of darkness. Boy, hey, watch me. <laughs> That's stupid Catholic doctrine. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, Recently, man, someone made um, videos against me pertaining to that. I told them it, Job 39, 17 to the lady. She Job decided to make a video. Oh, the, I am warning the people about the three days of darkness. Right? All the men not doing the work of the Lord. So he called us women. And I would eat. What scripture say that? It never once said it. <laughs> I still yet to find that scripture. I still yet looking. You know what I'm saying? Sam, I want to get the precept. The heretic use. Amos. Amos chapter. Let's see. Is it Amos 9? No. Amos chapter 8. And verse 9. This is what one of the precepts they use to justify the three days of darkness. It says, this is Amos 8 and 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, say it Yahweh power, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon. And I will darken the earth in the clear day. Clear day and I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon all head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son. And the end thereof is a bitter day. Now, Akim and Akwat, is that speaking literally no. or is it an allegory? What say you, Akim? Is Amos 8, 9 and 10 literal? Or is it an allegory? Come on, Akiam. If them compare that, I hope there's no way I think it isn't. If them <laughs> compare that to be the family, the, whatever else, okay, all right. Matt, one for the Akiam this week, you know what? <laughs> this one. Akiam, is Amos 8, 9, and 10 to be taken literal? The literal darkling of the sun? Or hmm. is it an allegory? Khan, it's not, it's an allegory. Well done, sister. Yeah. The Rashamat, it's, it's not, not literal. literal. It's yeah. not. It's not. Allegory. Khan. Right? The, when they talk about the sun going down at noon, yeah. when does the sun shine the brightest? At what time of the day is the sun in its full strength? What time of the day? Midday. Midday. The sun is at its strength midday. Now pertaining to what the scripture said at all, Knowledge shall increase. And we have the release of the 100% truth today where we can understand these scriptures. We can rightly divide because yeah. Yahweh Shai was found worthy to loose these scrolls. With the farming of the word, that understanding and that truth is going to be kept among the elect and it's going to be taken from the face of the earth. So it's, it's, it's not literal. That, that, that light or that sun going down and being darkened is speaking about the knowledge and understanding of this truth. Scripture <laughs> said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The sun is just another light source. This truth 
in shining in its shining in its intensity represent the one hundred percent unfiltered truth being taught, and right. there is a time when it's going to be taken from the earth. That's this is what cool. going into your farming of the word. That is what the scripture talking about. The three days of darkness is a false prophecy. <laughs> it's false. The father used a plague in Egypt for three days and three nights. There was an utter darkness to punish the Egyptians to make Pharaoh let the children of Israel go as well as to show the earth the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh he never, there is no indication in scripture that he is going to use three days of darkness. And these people say with these three days of darkness, demons coming out of hell and you can't go outside. You oh, had to okay. tape up your window mm -hmm. and paint it black. You had to have oh, pure beeswax, boy. blessed candle and mm. all this nonsense. I you truly can't. simple, but. Yeah, I truly can't <laughs> Go ahead wait up. for the tree, the so-called day for that to come, and nothing happened. That means everyone at Alia who was pushing it, who was promoting it, who was speaking about it, who was defending it, are all false prophets, and everyone who you all follow in the same thing are also false. Can because it's not biblical. That is the point. So I can't it's wait. Not <laughs> yeah. Let the time tell, you know? Can. I will be super live. <laughs> a lot of them saying, a lot of them saying, ah, you remember we're supposed to have some, some eclipse of the sun coming up mm -hmm. in April. Right. A lot of them saying, that, will, that is when the three days of darkness go take place. Some of them, they're not setting a date. They're just predicting it. the three days of darkness coming. I heard that prediction last year. I heard it the year before that. I heard it the year before that, and they keep changing the date. Hmm. Scripture tell us if the prophet if the prophet prophesies something and it come not to pass, roughly paraphr paraphrasing, believe him not, because he prophesied from the deceit of his heart. If he could get a precept, he prophesied from the deceit of his heart, not because the Lord told him. And can and they using the Rokako dash to say he told them about the three days of darkness. Or well, they listen to a demon. One of those lying spirits. That's what they listen to. They were sent to deceive all you. All yeah. you fall prey to lying spirits. Go ahead. Huh? If you when you find it, let me know. Okay. All you fall prey to lying spirits. Or you need to have pure beeswax candle, blessed, <laughs> blessed by a priest. Really? Come on, now, man. It's too simple. <laughs> Imagine uh, you going and buy black paint to paint up all your your windows, and to and to nail it shut, and to lock your door, and to switch off your light and light beeswax candle for three days and three nights, and you go here or, or all kind of demon calling out your name and knocking on your door and trying to come in. Yeah, Don't so let them. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, really? I saw all that. I saw all that. I've watched my way, boy. That, on that day, April, um, as you say, April the 8th of the kill, what they say? On that day... I think April the 8th or the 9th, somewhere there. Right. On that day, like it. it will be known that every one of them, which are Christians, mind you, and religious religions, many are religious believing in that nonsense too, are all false. Well, let me read the precept now. I'm really precept. It says, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? Yea, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts. Can. Can. And I want to know why these prophets can have found a foothold amongst our people. There's a precept that says they, they, they tell the prophets the pro to don't tell us the truth, roughly par paraphrasing. Tell us lies. Prophesy to us smooth things. If you can get our precept. Prof yeah, prophesy to us That's smooth. what they want. Yeah. Prophesy unto us smooth things. That's why these, these, these false prophets 
have a photo, they're making predictions that not coming to pass, but nobody is calling them out on it. And they're still allowed to come next year with a different prophecy. And mm -hmm. a different prophecy. Let me tell all you something. A broken clock is right twice for the day. They may prophesy a hundred prophecies, two may come to pass. Does that make them truth? Truthful? Mm -hmm. If you claim to be a prophet and 100% of your prophecies are not coming to pass, you are not a prophet. Mm -hmm. Prophets are from yeah. Yahweh are 100% accurate. Go ahead. Um, yeah, let me read, I'll read from 9. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh, which say to the, to, um, to the seers, move this, 